welcome back to my channel today i have basil with me she's just gonna be hanging out on my shoulder um i'm gonna give you guys some tips um and also some suggestions to keep your bird warm during the winter months as some of you guys know i live in canada um not every province and city are cold um but i would say most are but not I mean obviously if you go to British Columbia it tends to be a bit warm over there but overall I think this video might be helpful to some of you guys. The first thing you want to do is make sure you look at your bird physically. If you have your bird step up their feet might be cold and they might actually be a bit fluffed up and sometimes actually even shivering. Now obviously these stuff can happen with a sick bird as well but I'm just going to focus on birds that are cold or you know, you get the idea. Some of these symptoms can obviously be if your bird is sick, but in this case, we're just going to focus on, you know, the climate being cold or the room being a bit cold. And if that's the case, there are ways that you can help your bird. The number one suggestion I have is try placing your bird's cage away from windows and doors. We don't really typically think that doors could cause uh, your bird to be cold but imagine someone constantly opening and closing that door and even someone walking in and out there's always that whoosh of cold air it's almost kind of like a draft but like you get the idea it's just better if you put your bird someplace further away from a door or a window the other suggestion i have is actually covering your bird's cages uh, there are safe materials that you could use i would not suggest fleece because sometimes birds could peck at it um try sticking to cotton even polyester um those are just better options when covering your cage you could either cover it fully or partially i personally enjoy covering my bird's cage partially i find that whenever i cover it fully they are more prone to having night frights because I do have cockatiels and for me it just seems like having that partial size seems to be a bit more um, comforting for them so if that's not something you're into maybe cover it fully maybe try it partially see what works best for you but especially if you have cockatiels if it's completely dark and that little thing it might just freak them out so a little bit of airflow sometimes actually could help. Um, I personally, like I said, prefer keeping one side of the cage um, slightly open. So the one other thing you could do is actually using heating sources. I mean, obviously you could heat up your room or your house, but that might not be an option, especially if you have family members that really don't like it hot. So heating sources might be an option. Now, please be cautious about that because it can be a bit dangerous. So I have used lamps in the uh, in the past and I'm being honest with you guys what happened is because I have cockatiels and budgies they have longer tails so if my bird this happened to blossom actually she was close to the side of the cage so think about the corner of the cage and the lamp was further away but it was enough for her tail to touch the lamp if that makes any sense she actually burned the tip of her tail it's just feather there's no nerve endings it's at the very tip but you could cl clearly tell it was kind of burnt so because of that i mean there was no fire but that just freaks me out imagine if your bird just ends up oh no like that that just freaks me out so i immediately threw that product away um and it was safe material by the way but it was so hot to the point imagine that's just very dangerous so if you do want to use it just don't do the mistakes i have keep it even further away i would suggest at least like maybe like 20 inches away like it freaks me out to be honest like imagine if i was at home that day and somehow i didn't witness that and it could have been a, a lot worse i just would not suggest it and my birds actually fly in my house so imagine they were flying and somehow they landed on that lamp it just it's just not safe i don't like using it there are aviaries that depend on it and i think they do a better job making it safe i think i was very naive i didn't do it safely i would think so i think there are safer methods um and i use those safer methods so one of the things i do use i use this kind of i wouldn't call it a perch but it's like this square thing i'll show you guys an image you put it on the side of the cage and then you could plug it into an outlet make sure the wires the cable wires are not close to your bird because they can actually chew it and then yeah that's in itself an issue but uh, your bird could go to the side of this block if that makes any sense and you know they could keep themselves warm when they need it now the reason why i would not suggest a thermal purge it's like this purge it's the same company by the way but i have actually heard people who 
it could be either the product glitched or the outlet somehow glitched and that can happen it might not be the product itself it could be the outlet and their birds kind of flew on top of that perch and they end up burning their feet so again it's at your own risk I personally would not suggest it I suggest um, some kind of block sort of thing that you could put in the cage it's a lot safer because if it's too hot for your bird your birds are smart enough to kind of like walk away from it but if it's a perch I mean imagine they fly on it they're not gonna really know it's not like they're like humans they're like kind of tip touching it and they could tell oh wait a minute it's too hot they kind of fly onto it and then yeah it's I just personally would stay away from the thermal purchase, just stick to safer alternatives. The one other thing I want to talk about is high fat diets. In the winter months, you kind of want to avoid that completely. Um, overall, a high fat diet, regardless of season, it's just not good. But please talk to your avian vet because I know some, be uh, some bird owners struggle with their bird keeping their weight. So it might really depend. Um, but um, I would suggest a diet that's lower in fat overall and please keep a schedule of your bird's weight if it's going down considerably you might need a vet visit regardless but a lower fat diet is actually preferred so before I end the video I want to talk about snuggle huts I would really suggest you don't use that at all regardless of what month we are in um, you could get crop impaction I'll show you guys a picture over here or a couple of pictures Hopefully YouTube doesn't demonetize me. They really don't like anything graphic. Um, but that's actually what could happen. So basically your bird might think it's a toy or they pluck at it, they eat it. And you know, a bird's body won't be able to digest that. So it actually ends up getting stuck in the crop and eventually your bird has difficulty breathing. And if you are a good owner up until then, you might take it to the vet and they be like, okay, we need to cut open your bird. And it's a risky procedure in itself, it's just not worth it. So, uh, snuggle huts, any kind of huts, just throw it away. It's just not worth it, in my opinion. So, this is the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye-bye.